Right, I'm going to do my best to talk you through the rules of engagement for wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing in Formula One. So, what we've got here is um, a corner of an F1 track. Looks a little bit similar to Cops at Silverstone, for example. And this um, green line that I've drawn on it is what is referred to often as the racing line. Now, what we need to be clear about is terminology. What does the racing line mean? It is nothing to do with wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. The racing line is the optimum line around the track for setting the fastest lap time. That's the the line that most drivers would like to be on because they want to be traveling as quickly as possible around the lap. However, when we come to wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing and dueling amongst cars, the racing line is irrelevant. So let me give you an example. Um, let's use uh, the red pen line as Max Verstappen and the black one as Lewis Hamilton. And back at Silverstone 2021, the drivers were driving along the racing line. Lewis got the strip slipstream. Max tried to cover off. Lewis dummied him. And then came round this side. Sorry, it's a bit of a squiggle. And came up here. Neither's on the racing line. They're racing wheel to wheel. As we approach the braking zone, they both want to come over to take a wider line into the corner. And we ended up in the braking zone prior to the corner at around about this point here. Cars almost level with one another. Now this grey shaded area that I've got is the braking zone. You know, it's not exact. It's a, it's a model. It's an approximation. Okay. But as we come along the straight... If cars along the straight decide that they want to take each other offline and duel along the line, it happens, okay? Now, there can only be a certain amount of weaving permissible, but cars take each other off the racing line, okay? We're aware of that. So, the key comes at now, when once we get to the braking zone, who has to do what? So... If the cars are side by side or within half a car length of one another. So, for example, in this picture here, if you are either at the midpoint of the car that you're challenging or level with them or the other way around, you're half a car length ahead or half a car length behind, you are in a position where you are entitled to space around that corner. You do not have to yield. Okay? Which means that both drivers have to give each other space as you go around the corner. Which means to go around this corner, from this point here, I'm going to leave a space and I'll show you why in a second. Both drivers have to leave each other space. So knowing you, you've got a driver on the inside, you have to give him space. Okay. But then on exit of corner, because around about here is the apex. Okay. Approximately. On exit of corner, naturally, this car on the inside is going to want to keep over to here. However, get back on the screen. However, what he's got to do is ensure that he leaves enough space for the car on the outside here, which means he's got to tighten his line around to allow for that car space on the track, compromising his ex exit speed. Okay? That is what you must do when you are wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Now, here's the myth. The car on the inside must hit the apex. That is a myth, okay? This would also be perfectly legal. If the car on the inside didn't hit the apex and took a wider line, this is fine. Just as long as he leaves room for the other car on the outside. Absolutely fine. What he can't do is 
And it's getting a bit messy with the lines now, but what he can't do is drive on here and do that. You've not allowed track room for the car that you know is on the outside that has got a right to, to be spaced on this corner from this position in the braking zone. So you have to leave them track space. So you can come around this corner any which way you like as long as you leave room for the other car. Likewise, the car on the outside, the red line in this example, cannot... I'll do it on this one. I'll do it on the middle one because the lines are getting messy on that one. The, the car on the outside cannot squeeze the car on the inside off the track. So they cannot... Black pen's not working. They cannot head for the apex themselves and do that. Because where's this guy going? You've not left them room. You have to have spatial awareness. That is what motor racing is about. That is about being aware of who is around you and positioning your car accordingly at ridiculous speeds, at speeds of 250 kilometers an hour, for example. That's what differentiates those drivers from normal human beings. They've got ability to do that. Most of us don't. Um, but they, these are the rules of engagement that they must abide by. If not, you are doing an extremely dangerous sport and risking life um, and risking a major catastrophic incident through not respecting your opponent in a sport. So you have to do this. You have to do it. So when we come to examples, if we look at the, the positions of the cars in the braking zone, uh, in example number three, the car behind is not at the midway point of the car in front. And in circumstances like this, when we're in the braking zone and the car that is behind is not at the midway point, it has to brake. It has to brake. Because it is not earned the right to the, to the space around the corner because it's not at the halfway point. The car in front of this, at this point, is entitled to the line. Okay, this car has to brake and allow this the space to get ahead. That is the rules of engagement. If you are at the halfway point, that's when we get back to example one, where you're entitled to the space. And we go on to two. Halfway point or level, you're entitled to be left the room. You're not allowed to be run out of room on the inside. The inside car is not allowed to run the, the outside car out of room on the outside of the track. Okay? But both cars are entitled to space around the track, around this line here. And as long as you, neither car runs each car, each of the other car, um, each other off the road, either on the inside car of the track or the outside of the track, that is absolutely fine. We get to a situation where the the trail car is not halfway alongside. At least, they have to pull out of that corner. They have to give way at that corner to the car in front. They are the basic rules of engagement. I'm going to follow this on with another video that goes through the six incidents that Karun Chandok goes through on the eve of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and obliterate what Karun Chandok says. Look out for that one.